All right, welcome to the Ravid Show, and uh, we are here at PostCon 2024. Look who I have with me, Sterling from Postman. Uh, Sterling, uh, obviously we've been uh, talking since last two days, and uh, it has been a blast. It's day two here at uh, PostCon. First of all, thanks for having us here. Uh, but I'm super excited to learn more about uh, what you're working on, and uh, also, would you like to quickly introduce yourself to our audience? Yeah, um, my name is Sterling. Uh, I work in the labs team. Uh, labs is like the R&D arm of Postman, and what I do is I work on early market adoption. So any any of the new products that we work on, um, that's, I try to work on market fit and try nice. to get with, early, uh, get with uh, customers. I'm pretty sure you have like so many uh, interesting things that are happening in the last two to three years. And uh, since the time AI has boomed that we are seeing, obviously there has been so many... Uh, you know, interesting innovations that are happening. So I'm kind of excited to chat with you today about not only just the theme of PostCon, but uh, also many more other things that you're working on. But uh, to start with, uh, would you like to tell us more about what are you thinking about PostCon 2024? What does the vibe look like? And, uh, uh, you know, what do you feel? Yeah, I mean, so far, PostCon has been phenomenal. Uh, yeah. The keynotes were amazing. Um, I'm obviously going to be biased because I worked on I work on the Postbot team, right? So watching Abhiji Kane up there showing off our showing off Postbot um, was absolutely phenomenal experience. But I'm I'm loving the vibe here. Tons of people. I get to see a lot of great people. Fantastic. Also, uh, what's happening at Postbot? Anything new with AI that you would like to share? So yeah, we so today we're we're releasing our new conversational agent yeah um that's part of the new uh what's what's released as part of v11 and that's including uh adding additional context um along along the conversational window right um, and a lot more uh capabilities of what postbot is like being able to understand like the it that this it's like oh update that instead of having to like directly prompt postbot you're like oh update that it understands. It remembers. Okay, fantastic. So that's something with pretty interesting, and obviously the new uh, things that coming in the post part. Uh, but also quickly wanted to learn a little about uh, since you mentioned about you working closely with the customers too. Mm -hmm. uh, any use cases that you would like to share with our audience around the enterprise uh, world that you're in? Yeah. Well, I mean, when it comes to enterprise and post part, a lot of you know a lot of great QA. Right. Um, I said, I mean, PostBot is really right now the main thing. Right. These are testing and documentation. Right. And so QA loves, I mean, one of, one of my favorite customers, he, um, they, their team has told me that PostBot is replaced and to become the main tester on their team. Right. So that's one of the major use cases. Um, and then another team has talked about how it's replacing their documentation. Hmm. Um, their, ab their ability to generate yeah. documentation is now coming through is being used by PostBot rather than spending hours or days or even weeks writing handwriting code or handwriting documentation. So that's a lot of, uh, you know, us saving. That's a lot of time that they're saving, but also the efficiency, I feel, has might have grown massively because uh, I think with PostBot, they can do a lot mm -hmm. more, right? Uh, quickly, one more thing that I wanted to ask was about uh, what's next that's coming for PostBot? What can we expect? Uh, any, any... Anything that you would like to share with our audience? <laughs> we, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, that's that's something I'm pretty sure uh, there's something huge coming up. Now yeah. you're like, <laughs> so with with Postbot, I mean, we're we're adding new integrations all the time. Uh, we've got a lot on our roadmap. And there's nothing that I can tell you right now, right? Um, uh, because that we're still innovating on a lot of things. Fantastic. Um, I can say that you know we're standing right here by the post by the post and flows area, and the post and flows team is working on some new generative AI with or using Postbot to generate stuff. Uh, so that's I, I can say that that that's what they're working on. Right. But yeah, tons of new capabilities. Uh, in the next six to eight months, you're going to see a lot of new site coming from Postbot. Exciting times, I guess. Uh, yeah. Also, quickly wanted to learn about, um, uh, you know, if people want to reach out to you, where can they do that? But before that, I also wanted to see what's happening here. So what you see here, uh, this is a robotic arm that I programmed. Yeah. Um, and, it's, and it's using Python end, endpoints, uh, running scripts, um, and it'll pass a, it passes out you know, swag, um, and it runs, there you go. Got it. Um, 
And so, yeah, uh, using, I mean, I used generative AI to help me write the, write the Python scripts to do this. And then post and flows uh, runs in the background to make all of this work. Love it. And this is, uh, now this is the real use case that I actually yeah. see it happening in person, at least in front of me. So it's just fantastic. Uh, but this is great. Uh, I think uh, I'm pretty sure our audience would have a lot of questions for you, Sterling. Yes. So LinkedIn is the best place to reach out to you. Twitter is the best place. I'm on LinkedIn. I'm nice. on Twitter, uh, SilverJai82. Okay. Um, and I'll send you all that, all that. LinkedIn, and send me a connection request with the chat there. Um, and then if you have anything specific around PostBot, you want to like feature request, you can just get, get us on uh, GitHub. GitHub. Open okay. up a GitHub issue. Fantastic. This was great. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be, it's almost day two and uh, towards the, I think, lunchtime uh, where we are. So, and I see it's so busy already. So, all the best for all the demos. But it was such a pleasure chatting with you on the Robert Show. It's wonderful. Thank you for having me. Thank you, everyone.